he should acclimate to rather quickly. He might walk a little shockingly at first, but if you see, if you know, a couple days go by or... The cats are really unique because they're the only pets we have that we just give free license to roam wherever they want if we let them outside. People who've said that they want to track their cats think they know generally where their cats go, and it seems that most of the time they are not, they're not right about where their cat goes. Cat Tracker is a project we started because we wanted to know where these cats went. Cats are known globally as a big threat to conservation because they kill so many animals. But in the United States, there are a lot of predators running around. So we wanted to know how far are these cats going into the natural areas and are they actually a threat to our native wildlife that lives there. Oh, so without the whole whole notion. We're working initially in the North Carolina area where we have tracker units and we're loaning them out to people to put on their cats for a week or two at a time. So far, most of the animals are staying pretty close to home, but certainly they are making some side trips. They're visiting other houses, which is pretty interesting, so we're starting to wonder, you know, what's luring them, and some of them are starting to go into some of the natural areas around their houses as well. Uh, frozen? Oh, see, so he's like kind of drunk, the kind yeah. of like drunk staggery walk. Yeah. It's important to know, is it 10% is it of the cats that move a long way, or is it 1%, or is it 0.1%? Because we start dealing with the billions and billions of cats that are out there. If it's 1%, that could still be a lot that are hunting. When people find out where their cats have gone, they generally react with a lot of shock to see where fluffy pants went. And they almost feel betrayed or shocked. Their responses are always like, oh my goodness, I am going to have to talk to that cat. We're also starting to find some interesting details in the story of these cats. We had one cat where it stayed home all the time, then all of a sudden it went to a house and then came back. And we thought, well, what is this? Is it GPS error or something like that? She's like, my body's betraying me. <laughs> Turns out they were out of town that weekend, and the house that it went to is where they used to live. It somehow remembered where it used to live. It knew how to get there, even though it had to cross a busy street. It's kind of, kind of risky, actually. Well, so this one example tells us that cats have long-term spatial memory and that they can navigate around in this area even if 99% of the time they're only in their backyards. What we want to do is really crowdsource this, take this into the world of citizen science, so it's not just a few scientists tracking a handful of animals, but hundreds of volunteers tracking hopefully thousands of cats. We generally advocate that people keep their cats indoors. But if you do let your cat out, we just want to know where are they going and uh, try to understand some of the biological phenomenon so that we can help in the future minimize the impact of cats on wildlife. Possible.